Hey y'all and welcome to a new video. My name is Amy Darley and in today's video, I've got tons of cleaning motivation for you. This is video number five in my decluttering series where I'm taking you along as I declutter and organize my entire house. I'll be doing some everyday cleaning today, plus decluttering and organizing my son's closet and bedroom. It was a complete disaster in there and I'm so happy with the transformation and I think you guys are gonna love how it turned out too. Also in this video, I'm doing my 250,000 subscriber giveaway to say thank you for all the love and support that you guys have shown me over the years. So be sure to stick around for all the details on that. It's super quick and easy to enter. All right, so get your to-do list ready and let's jump into some cleaning together. All right, we are starting the cleaning with my typical morning cleaning routine. I'll make my bed, I'll get a load of laundry going in the washing machine, and then I move into the main living area and kitchen to tidy and clean up from the chaos of the night before and the morning. So like I said in the intro, this video is part of my decluttering series where I'm trying to go through every single room and space in my house and get it decluttered and organized. So I've already decluttered and organized the playroom, my master closet, my bathroom, and a few of the junk drawers in my kitchen. And today we're going to be focusing on decluttering and organizing my son's closet and bedroom because it was a huge wreck and I needed to go through all of his clothes as well. So if you have not seen any of my decluttering videos, I will leave my decluttering playlist down in the description box so that way you can go check out some of the spaces that we've already decluttered and organized. So lately, I've actually switched to using white distilled vinegar instead of fabric softener. I've been doing this for like the last month, and I always use this for my towels and my um, cleaning rags and things like that, but for the last month or so, I've actually just been using the white distilled vinegar instead of fabric softener with all of my laundry. And I love the fact that it disinfects, but it also softens your clothes. It doesn't make everything smell like vinegar at all. Um, and then also it's a little bit cheaper than fabric softener. So I don't know, I've been loving it and I think I'm gonna stick with this. All right, so as I'm cleaning today, I'm gonna be listening to the book, It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. I've already read It Ends With Us and I love it so much. I'm about halfway through now um, when I'm editing, editing this. So I pulled out my AirPods and my son had actually been using them the other day and this is my reaction when I pulled them out. Gross. So of course, before I could start listening, I had to clean these out. They were pretty gross. They weren't as bad as they have been in the past. My son has very waxy ears. He, he also has his own earbuds, but his were dead, so he borrowed mine. So to clean them, I'm just taking a paper towel, a toothpick, and some isopropyl alcohol. You can also use a Q-tip instead of a toothpick if you want, but I find that the toothpick works a little bit better with these types of AirPods that have the rubber piece because it's a little bit smaller. The toothpick is a little bit smaller and gets into the small hole and crevices easier than using the toothpick. You could also use this method on tons of other places um, around your house. Like if you have small cracks that you need to get into between um, appliances or in the windowsill, all kinds of different places around your house, you could definitely use this little method to clean in those spaces. Talking to each other, I know we feel the same about the situation, like we're stuck inside again. Time to get out of this. All right, my AirPods are all clean, so now I can pop these in and start listening to my book while I get the rest of my cleaning done. Oh, yeah, we both carry a scar as you write the part we're playing. All right, I do want to tell you guys about the 250,000 subscriber giveaway, but first I want to introduce myself really quick in case you're brand new here, you've never watched any of my videos, you kind of know who you're watching. First of all, I'm Amy Darley. I live right outside of Savannah, Georgia in a small little town. My husband's name is Chance and we will be married for 15 years in June. So I am so excited to celebrate our 15 year anniversary soon. We also have two kids. My oldest son, my oldest is my son, Kaysen, and he is 11 years old. And then my daughter is Gracie June, and she is nine years old. 
I was a teacher for nine and a half years before I became a stay-at-home mom, which is when I also created my YouTube channel. Here on my channel, I share anything homemaking, so cleaning motivation, organization, cleaning hacks, tips, decorating. I even throw recipes and grocery hauls into my videos. Just all of the things that we do from day to day as moms or wives, I love just sharing that kind of stuff in my videos. So if you enjoy that kind of content, then I would love to have you as a subscriber here on my channel. The subscribe button is right below this video. And then if you also click the little bell right beside the subscribe button and the word all, then you will actually get notifications anytime I post new videos. Also, if you're new here, I would love to get to know you guys better. So be sure to introduce yourself down in the comments and tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, I am so excited to be doing a 250,000 subscriber giveaway. I can't believe that we have grown this community to 250,000 of the most amazing people, you guys. I posted my first cleaning video ever on January 28th, 2018, and then five years later, here we are at 250,000 of you. So to celebrate and to say thank you for showing me so much love over the last five years, I wanted to do a giveaway. There will be one grand prize winner that will win a box full of my favorite things and then two runner-up winners that will receive $100 PayPal cash. The giveaway is open internationally, but if the grand prize winner is not in the U.S., we will send the cash value of the favorites box through PayPal instead. So let me show you really quick what all is going to be included in my favorites box for the grand prize winner. Okay, here's everything laid out on my bed. This is a ton of my favorite things. So the very first thing that I think you guys are going to love is this cordless Tenco vacuum. This is the one I've been sharing lately. I bought this about six months ago. I'm loving it. It has tons of different attachments that come with it. So this is going to be the first thing in the grand prize favorites box. I'm also giving away a Stanley Cup, a Chick-fil-A gift card, my favorite planner. This is the one I've been using forever. I've been using this exact one for like the last four years. Some of my favorite pens, a Saint palette with some of my favorite eyeshadows and an eyeshadow brush. And then also my all-time favorite blanket. This is the one that my whole family fights over. I love it so much. And it's actually a dupe for the Barefoot Dreams um, blankets, but... I love it and the price is way better. So anyways, this is the entire box that is going to be given to the grand prize winner. And then, like I said, there will be two runner up winners that will get $100 PayPal cash. So to enter this giveaway, you must be a subscriber here on my YouTube channel. And then I want you to leave me a comment below with your name and tell me one cleaning product or tool that you could never live without. And that's it. That's how you're entered to win. Now, if you want an extra entry, then you can go over to Instagram or Facebook and share my channel in your stories or in a post and tag me. And then if you have a private account, then you can screenshot where you shared my channel and then send it to me in a DM. Then be sure to come back here to this video and comment that you shared on Facebook or Instagram for your extra entry. The giveaway starts today, February 20th, the day that this video is posted. And then the last day to enter the giveaway will be February 27th. The winners will then be announced on the community tab here on YouTube on March 1st. And I will also comment, I will reply to your comment if you are the winner. I'll let you know that and where to email me and all that information. And then once the winners have been announced, they will have 48 hours to claim their prize or new winners will be chosen. Thank you again to everyone who has subscribed and on this journey with me. I can't tell you guys how much your sweet comments and chats have meant to me over the last five years. You guys have literally brought so much joy into my life and I am forever grateful for all of you. So good luck to everyone on the giveaway. The only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance. Not like anything we've done before. Oh, oh, yeah. Now it's time for something better. It's time for us to follow our dreams. No, we can't stay no more. Oh, come run away.
mixed emotions The first step is always hard When you walk out of the doorway But that's just the place to start The only thing I ever wanted Starts with us taking the chance Not like anything we've done before Oh, oh, yeah I showed you guys this little scrub daddy tool that I got last week and I'm actually using it for the first time I put some Dawn dishwashing liquid on the inside and then I'm just using it to wash my dishes and honestly I'm not sure how I feel about it yet usually I wash my dishes with the scrub mommy and then I use the little bottle brush to wash the inside of all of my um, cups and things like that that are harder to reach with the actual scrub mommy and I found that when I was trying to use this new tool, I still had to reach for my bottle brush. So I don't know. I'm not sure which one I like more. So maybe I will switch to using the Scrub Mommy again for washing dishes and then use this on the inside of my sink for scrubbing the sink down. I don't know. But I do like this product and I feel like the soap comes out very easily it does a great job of cleaning and I love the material that it's made of and everything. Here on the inside of my sink, just for like a daily clean, I just use the Dawn Power Wash. And then here you can see I'm using my Scrub Mommy again, and I'm just washing out the inside of my sink. Is this our destiny? Just like it was meant to be. Yeah. Come run away. into my life such a magic feeling you tore down my walls i wish i could go back to right before you told me i try to change it all but look at all right so the kitchen is all tidied up i've got dishes put away the sink is clean and then the last thing i'm going to do in here is just wipe down the countertop so i've got the caldrea countertop spray here for my granite countertops and then on my wood countertops i'm using the method wood cleaner it's my favorite wood cleaner it smells so good and then right around this time, my robot vacuum was actually scheduled to go off. So it's going to vacuum the floors for me. I don't have to worry about it. Um, but if I clean after my robot vacuum has already gone off, then I will pull out my cordless and I will vacuum in here. But I also pull it out at night and usually do a quick vacuum in the kitchen and the breakfast area just because that's where we eat. And we also have high traffic zone there just coming in and out of the garage. Now, it's funny because you guys see my red roses here. These are actually not mine. They are Gracie June's roses. Last week was Valentine's, and um, so my husband, Chance, got her some red roses, a cute little stuffed dog, which you probably saw me pick up off the couch earlier in the video, and then some gummy bears. 
And it's funny because I do not like to get flowers as a gift just because I kill flowers so easily. Like I am too lazy. I don't water them. I think they're beautiful. Love the way that they smell and the way that they look. But I honestly just feel like it's such a waste of money to buy me in particular flowers. But Gracie June loves some fresh flowers. And so Chance got her those for Valentine's Day, which was really sweet. And she was so excited about them. Um, also, she was excited about the stuffed dog that Chance got her. She actually named it Cooper. And if you didn't know, we used to have a chocolate lab named Cooper. He was in tons of my videos over the years. And he actually um, passed away last March. It was actually last St. Patrick's Day. So I thought that was so sweet that she named him Cooper. All right, we are headed upstairs, and this is my son, Kaysen's room. He is 11 years old. He loves all things sports, um, and he also loves video games, but he is a big sports guy, so he also has tons of hats and is a huge mess. He actually does usually do a pretty good job of organizing things, but this, this closet has just gotten really out of hand, and honestly, I really feel like it's because we just have nowhere to put this stuff, and we need to get rid of a ton of it, so... That's what we're doing today. I'm going to first pull every single thing out of this closet. I'm not going to leave anything in here. And I'm going to go through it all and decide whether I'm going to keep it, th uh, throw it away, like if it's broken or has holes in it, or if I'm going to donate it. But I also want to do some cleaning in here. And so for the first day, I'm going to go ahead and do Kaysen's bedding. So my clothes in the washing machine are in the dryer now. And I'm ready to throw this into the washing machine, get his bedding started. And then I will start on the closet. Could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted. Yeah, look at us now. This is who we are. And I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again Strangers again Alright, so like I said, I'm going to actually pull every single item in this closet out of this closet And I don't always do this, I don't always pull every single item out at once But we are actually going to be taking out this bookshelf anyways And I'm replacing it with some of the drawer organizers that I actually used in my master closet We love them so much that I ended up purchasing some for both the kids closets The ones that I got for Kaysen's are actually a little bit taller So I'm really excited to see how these work in here but first, we're going to pull this bookshelf out. And also, I wanted to pull everything out because I knew that there was so much stuff in here that we probably haven't even seen in years. And it just needs to go. So we're going to touch everything and decide what we're going to do with every single product, item, everything in this closet. Again, like strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be the same. Strangers again. Strangers again. I thought we'd never fall. Could have tried much harder. All we have are scars. You said we'd get so high, higher up than heaven. You said we'd reach the stars. Look at us now. Strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be the same. Like strangers again. All right, I have everything out of the closet. So, really quickly, I'm going to do a vacuum in here. I don't remember the last time I've been able to vacuum the entire floor of his closet. So, that's nice. And this is actually my corded vacuum. It's a Eureka vacuum. And I got this one last year trying to find another vacuum that was similar to my Shark Uplight. 
and this one has a lot of the same features. The only thing I will say is that this one is a lot heavier than my Shark Up Light. Um, so that's the only downfall is that I don't like how big and bulky it is, but it does a really, really good job. And with the size also means that the trash canister is a little bit bigger too. So now that I've vacuumed, I'm going to start putting in these organizers, these drawer organizers, which Chance, Chance put them together for me, but they're actually really easy to put together. Oh, and while I was putting it in, I noticed that this area was really dusty. So I took one of the socks that were, they were already, it was a wash sock. It was clean, but it had a hole in it and I knew I was going to throw it away. So I just slipped it on my hand really quick and did a quick dusting of the windowsill. And then I'm going to throw the sock away. Once again, that was me being lazy and not wanting to run back downstairs to get my cleaning supplies, but hey, that sock was going in the trash anyway, so I put it to use. All right, so now you can see I have two of these drawer organizers here in his closet, and like I said, I got the tall ones for his closet just because I knew that he had space for that, and I think that they fit perfectly in here. This is going to work so good. And I wanted to show y'all a little bit of the behind the scenes too of all the stuff that I pulled out of his closet. And it's funny because I had no rhyme or reason when I was pulling everything out. I was just trying to get at, get it all out as fast as possible because honestly, I was rushing and trying to beat the clock because I was trying to get all this stuff done before I had to go pick up my kids from school. So anyways, I was just in a hurry. But now I'm going through all of his bins, all of his drawers, everything, all the clothes. And I actually looked at like the size of everything, making sure that whatever fits him um, and is in good condition, I will keep and organize in these drawers. And then the rest of it, I will either like, if, like I said, if it had rips or holes or it was just, you know, something that nobody was going to wear, then I was getting rid of those. And then the other clothes and stuff I will donate. Now on these organizers, the top two drawers are a little bit thinner, so they're not as um, deep. And then the rest of the drawers are very deep and they fit a ton. So I tried to think of things that, you know, would be perfect for these top drawers. So the for, for the left top drawer is all of his underwear. The bottom one under that is his regular everyday socks. And then right there on the top, we have all of his baseball belts. And then the next drawer is his baseball socks. And now here on this right organizer, I'm trying to keep all the sports related stuff. So I went down and put his baseball pants and then you'll see in just a little bit, I put his football gear, all that kind of stuff in there as well. And then this drawer I'm using for all of his bathing suits and um, sun shirts. Now here on the top where I have his belt, I ended up putting his sliding shorts for baseball and a few other baseball items up there too. And then this drawer right here is for all of his baseball jerseys and practice baseball shirts. And this next drawer is for all of his school athletic wear. So he's got like football shirts and then everyday athletic wear that he has to wear for um, some of his classes. And so I'm putting all of that in this drawer, which includes the shirts and the shorts. And then here we are putting the football gear in this drawer. In the bottom drawer on this side, I ended up putting some of his shoes that he keeps up here in his room. He actually has a bunch of shoes that we keep out in the garage, but these are shoes that he doesn't wear as often, so they're going in that drawer instead of just hanging out on the bottom of the floor. And then in this drawer, we have all of his hunting gear. So this is where all of his shirts were currently and you can see this drawer is overflowing and I could barely even open and close it. So I'm gonna go through all of these and look at the sizes. There were definitely a good bit that I wanted to get rid of. And then the only thing I'm gonna end up keeping in this drawer are all of his cotton shirts and then the rest of them are gonna go, all of his athletic wear and stuff like that are gonna go in those organizers in the closet. I better get started. It's time to get my head up again You said that you had to I'll try to forget you Just didn't think we'd end up this way Like strangers again Now this is his shorts drawer and I'm doing the same exact thing. I'm going through, checking the sizes, getting rid of whatever doesn't fit him. 
and then moving those athletic shorts into the closet and then I'm going to keep his like which he really didn't have very many but the everyday shorts that are not athletic shorts I'm going to keep in this drawer and I do need to probably get him some new ones for like the spring or whatever but the rest of them were too small for him so or too short so <laughs> I'm going to get some new ones. So as you can see these drawer organizers fit so much stuff and I feel like it all fits in there so much better than the dressers do so these were definitely a win I will make sure to link these and also I will link any other cleaning products tools organization stuff that I used in this video down in my description box Okay, so now it's time for hangups, and I really don't have a lot of his stuff hanging up in the closet. We have some jackets. He has a few nice shirts that he wears to church, some hoodies, and then um, some short sleeve shirts that he wears to church, and some pants. And then up here, I am keeping his Easter basket because that's how he's going to get his stuff for Easter. We'll be in his basket. We've also got in that first little bucket, we've got extra pillowcases. Next tub has a few special things that his dad handed down to him. And then we've got some bags and his pads for football. All right, so the last drawer that I want to go through really quickly is his pants drawer. And I'm just keeping all of his sweatpants in this drawer. And then I went and hung up a pair of khakis that he had in here as well. And we had the perfect little spot for his suitcase and toiletry bag here. So I'm just going to put that there. And then when I did my master closet decluttering video, a lot of you told me that there were actually tops that you could buy separately that go with these drawer organizers. So I did not know that. And you guys helped me out. So I knew I wanted some tops in here because I had a few things that I wanted to put on top of them in his closet. So I got both of the tops to go with these organizers and then I'm going to put a few things here on top of them. I told myself that maybe he ain't worth it. Too bad I hate advice. Cause out of sight and out of mind. Okay, so now I'm pulling out Kaysen's keepsake box. This is one that we're going to give to him later on when he eventually moves out. And every time I go through this, I get so emotional. Such sweet things in here. But I am folding up all of Kaysen's old soccer jerseys, um, basketball jerseys, baseball jerseys, anything that he is no longer using or from, from previous teams. And I'm just folding them and I'm going to put them here in this basket to keep for later because um, have you guys seen those blankets that you make out of like t-shirts or jerseys or whatever? I think they're called keepsake jersey blankets, but that's why I'm keeping these is eventually I want to have a blanket made for him with all of those jerseys on it. Now I'm putting up the second hat rack on his closet because his hats were overflowing and he had too many to go on one rack. And these were actually, they came in a two pack off of Amazon for like $9. And I love them. We actually have one in our closet as well for mine and Chance's hats. It's so hard to decide. Oh, I know. He got me good in his pocket. I know that I miss a tree. And then this is our school organizer that we use for the week. It's already Wednesday. So I'm putting the clothes in there for Thursday and Friday. And then. At the end of the week, I will go and reload the entire thing for Monday through Friday. All right, let me show you a quick overview of how the closet turned out. I am obsessed. I feel like it looks so much better in here, and it's going to be so much easier to keep it organized. And then after I show you this, I am going to finish cleaning Kaysen's room. But I would love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the closet transformation? Do you like the way it turned out? Is there anything that you would have done differently? Let me know what you think, but I will tell you that Kaysen came home and he was so excited. He had no idea that I was even doing this today. And so when he got home and saw his closet, he loved it so much. And there was
there's the perfect little spot right here for his dirty clothes hamper. All right, so I was out of time, so I actually saved the rest of the cleaning for the next day, but you can see I still had to go through all of the books and everything. I had to go through all of this stuff, and I actually ended up taking this whole bag here to a friend of mine, and so those are all hand-me-down clothes, and then we've got a bunch of baseball pants that I'm giving to a different friend, and then all the rest of the stuff we're actually going to just get rid of because it's either worn out or um has holes in it stuff like that so before i run to go get our kids and then have to run all over town for practices and stuff i'm gonna really quickly make Kason's bed and then i'll pick back up where i left off the next day but while i'm making his bed i did want to ask for your opinions so the bedding that i have for both of my kid is the betty's bedding I love it so much because it zips up and it just makes making your bed in the mornings super easy. It takes them like a minute and it always looks nice. No matter how they make their bed, it's going to look nice. But we've had their bedding for like the last maybe four and a half years. I don't know. It's been a long time. So I definitely feel like we are in need of some new bedding. And I'm trying to decide if I want to get him another beddy set or if I want to find something else like I know that Pottery Barn Teen has a lot of really good stuff and really good quality. So I don't know. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. They have some really good sets on the Betty's website, though. So uh, I'm torn. But I don't know. Do you think that these look too little kiddish? Or do you think that, you know, they work for anybody? I just want to be around you. Okay, it's the next day. I'm going to first take all of this stuff downstairs and then I'm going to start going through all of his books and um, decide which ones we're going to keep and which ones we're going to donate. I just want to be around you. He looks at me like I know what he's thinking, but I don't have So I decided I wanted to keep the bookshelf. I just felt like he needed something to keep his books on. And so I'm moving over his little nightstand onto the other side. And then I'm going to move this bookshelf here. And even though I got ended up getting rid of a ton of books, I was able to use this bookshelf for the books that I did keep for him. And then I also ended up using a couple of those little baskets to put his soft balls that he plays with. Him and his friends will come up here and just kind of throw the balls around and they're soft so they, you know, don't mess anything up. But I'm just going to keep those on there. And if you're wondering, yes, my light just, the light right here just turned on. Chance got both the kids those like clapper plug-in things for their lights for Christmas and so you clap twice and the light turns on, you clap twice and they turn off and they've been really convenient. <laughs> okay, so here is the book collection in Kaysen's room. And if you guys remember, I was a teacher for nine and a half years, so I had a huge book collection. Plus we have bought books for the kids over the years, you know, when they were in elementary school especially. And so I have a ton of books to go through. Some of these we're actually going to give to our nephew. And then a few of them we're keeping because they're like keepsake books. And then he's also got a few that he still kind of thumbs through or, you know, we might want to pass those down later. So we're going to keep those.
So in this basket, I'm putting all of his baseballs that have like a special meaning that we've kept. And I'm going to put those on the bookshelf. And then I'm going to go through and do some dusting and cleaning in his room. Now, I want to be completely honest with you guys. I had actually planned on taking this week to do both of the kids' closets, but since Kaysen's took way longer than I thought it would, and it took me a couple of days to clean in here, I just didn't have time to get started on Gracie June's closet and be able to edit the video and do all of that. Plus, <laughs> this video ended up being super long, a lot longer than I thought it was going to. So, Next week, I will try to get into Gracie June's room and get in her closet because hers is just as bad as Kaysen's is. So be on the lookout for that video. It'll be next week and hopefully it will turn out just as well as his did. We are almost finished cleaning. I'm going to dust the outside of the fan really quick, which I feel like I need to take this thing apart and clean the inside because I can't get to the inside. If y'all have a hack for that, let me know. And then the last thing I'm going to do is vacuum in here really quick. And then this room is going to be all cleaned and organized. And if you guys made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you so much for sticking around to the end. And if you are still here, then I want you guys to leave me either a sunshine emoji or leave me the word sunshine in a comment down below just to let me know that you're still here and it's actually going to get you a another entry into the giveaway. I know you guys are super busy and have so many things going on so for you to take the time to watch my videos and especially to watch them all the way through and hang out with me it means so much to me and it actually helps me a ton when you do watch the videos all the way through. And I don't expect you to do that all the time. I know, life is crazy. Um, but if you could throw my videos up on your TV while you're cleaning or maybe on your phone while you get ready in the morning, that would be awesome. I don't ever want it to cut into like your family time or your own me time. But if you do watch my videos, it really does mean the world to me. And when you watch it all the way through, it helps so much. So thank you guys for the support. Making me say, but let's talk. Are you at the avenue? I don't need nobody else but me. All right, so that is going to be all of the cleaning and organizing that we're going to do for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to check out my decluttering playlist down in the description box so that way you can see all the other videos where I've decluttered and organized so far this year. And then if you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and then don't forget to subscribe if you're new here.
I hope you all have an amazing week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.